Welcome to a tutorial on using eDoc software to manage submittals. We will begin by creating a submittal. To create a new submittal, click the light orange work tab on the left side menu. Click the light orange submittal tab on the top menu. Click the new button. If there is a master submittal list enabled, you will be taken to a new screen to select from the list. You can adjust how much of the list you see at a time by entering a number into the page size field and clicking in white space. Select from the list by clicking anywhere on the line item. The subject and description might be pre-filled out, but you can edit either one if necessary. You can see that the number is pre-assigned. The dash one is temporary and will not be permanently assigned until the document is submitted. If you do not have a master submittal list, you will simply be taken to the submittal screen after clicking New. Enter the submittal name and associated details. You can enter a date received if you received information or samples from a subcontractor or vendor by clicking the Select link and selecting the date from the calendar. Enter any exceptions. If there are any locations or materials you would like tied to the submittal, click the Add button for each location or material you would like to add. Locate the location or material from the drop-down menu and click on it. If there are any samples or other physical materials that need to be shipped to the reviewers, you can add it under the Shipment Tracking section. If there are any documents in eDoc you would like tied to the submittal, click the Add button for each link you'd like to add. Select the type of document from the drop-down, and then click the Select link on the right side. This will take you to a new window to locate the document within eDoc. If there are any files you would like to attach, click the Add button for each file you'd like to add. Click the Browse button. Locate the file on your computer, select it, and click Open. You can click on the Cancel button at the top of the page at any time to exit the screen without saving. Click the Save button at the top of the page. You can see that this submittal is in draft form and has not yet been assigned an official submittal number. As long as your submittal is in draft form, it can be edited or deleted. You can edit it by clicking the Edit button. To delete a submittal, click the Delete button. The document will be placed in the Deleted Items folder and can be recovered at any time. To send your submittal to other users, click the Submit button. A new window will open up allowing you to select which users and organizations the document should be sent to. For each user or organization the document should go to, click the Add button and select them from the drop-down menu. If the document needs to be sent to an individual who is not using eDoc, under the Email to Someone Outside eDoc heading, enter their email address. The document will automatically be converted to a PDF and sent to the address entered. To add a due date, click the Select link and a calendar will appear. Select your due date from the calendar. To assign a priority, select from the drop-down menu. You can click Cancel at any time to exit the screen without transmitting the document, and the document will remain as an editable draft. When all appropriate selections have been made, click the Submit button to transmit the document. Notice how the document has been assigned a number by eDoc and is under Pending in the Browse box. If you realize you need to edit a submittal, you can click the Recall button to return it to draft status. If the recipient thinks that you need to edit the submittal, they can return it to you with a note detailing why they have returned it. The assigned number will stay with the submittal and cannot be adjusted. 
Once further action has been taken on this submittal, the Recall Return button disappears. Further action can include responding, forwarding, approving, or closing. After you edit the submittal, you will need to submit it again. In this segment, we will cover how to forward a submittal that you have received onto another organization. To forward the submittal, select the submittal from either your inbox or your browse box. You will notice that there is a return button to return it to the sender if necessary. Click the Send button. A new window will open up, allowing you to select which user organizations the submittal should be sent to. You can make the submittal pending on the recipient by checking the Assign box. You can also select a due date and priority for the user or organization you are assigning the submittal to. To add a due date, click the field, a calendar will appear, and you can select your due date from the calendar. To assign a priority, select from the drop-down menu. When all selections have been made, click the Submit button to transmit the document. You will notice that there is no longer the option to return the document to the creator. In this segment, we will address submittal responses. You can respond to a submittal by clicking the Respond button. A new window will open where you can create your response. Select the type of response from the drop-down menu. Draft, Final, and Comment are all similar. Supplemental has the added feature of creating a flag on the original submittal document that lets users know there is supplemental information attached. For this example, we will select Final. Enter your response in the comment field. If there are any files or links you would like tied to the response, click the Add button for each file or link you would like to add. Click the Browse box to add a file from your computer. Locate the file on your computer, select it, and click Open. Click the Save button. As long as your response is in a draft form, it can be edited or deleted. To delete a response, click the blue Request button to go back to the submittal. Scroll down to the bottom of the document to see the list of responses. Check the box to the left of the response and then click the Remove button. A response is not recoverable. To return to the response, click anywhere in the Responses line. To edit, click the Edit button. Once you are satisfied with your response, click the Submit button and select the recipients that the document will go to. Click the Submit button. Notice this response has moved to the pending status and has been assigned a number. This section deals with approving and closing a submittal. The first step in approving a submittal is to have a final response ready. You can always create a new response by clicking the Respond button, but to combine multiple existing responses, click the Merge button. This will take you to a screen where you can select which response you want to incorporate. Once you click the Save button, a new response will be created, which contains all of the selected information. As you can see, this response is in draft form, making it editable and deletable. Alternately, you can click the Copy button to duplicate a response, which you can then edit or modify. Click the blue Request button to return to the original submittal. Once you have a finalized response created in eDoc and are ready to share it, click the Approve button. This will take you to a screen where you can select the status and the official response. You can add any additional information in the comment box. Once you click the Save button, the status and official response will be shared with all of the users who have access to the original submittal. Notice how your final comments appear at the top of the submittal under the subject line. Once a status has been assigned, click the Close button. It will be archived in the Closed folder in the Browse box. Closing the submittal will allow users to revise it if necessary.